Okay, we're going to get a little deeper into astrology, food signatures, solutions um, to do with healing the body and becoming a monad. And we'll get into sun gazing. Um, here we go. It's Refer to my last video to understand a little more on exactly what you need to fill in, like what kind of blanks you need to fill in in your astrological chart and what you... Um, what you are, what you're made of. Let me um, flip through here a couple of these pictures. And I'm going to take what I'm always doing for people here is breaking down really complex things and showing, to, showing it to you in the most basic way I can, the most simple, straightforward way of showing you what these things are. I'm going to take these old Latin and Greek and all of these different languages people don't know and even if they did they wouldn't understand the uh, the occult esoteric nature of things and again it, occult just means hidden and esoteric is just inside of something meaning you you didn't realize what it really meant you looked at it exoterically or couldn't understand it so I'm trying to break this down so simply for you it all has to do with the human body this picture here is the same picture as this picture here as this picture here, as those pictures there. It's all the same thing. It's all showing the exact same thing. If you take a look at the sides of this, is all the different um, astrological signs, the different zodiac that is being imbued into the human, into the into the body vessel that you are. And you can even look at the the different um, the sun on one hand. And the chain linking it to something on an, on the other hand. So the the most basic concept of what we need to consider here is that your body was imbued with energy from the sun. So if that's if that's what happened, and you were missing the three months, like I was explaining, you're in the womb for twelve months, or excuse me, in the womb for not womb for nine months, and you're going to be missing three of those months of energy uh, of energetic signatures, which is right there in the piano keys and those piano keys all link up with the zodiac which link up with different colors which link up with different this will you can look out into nature because here's the solution say you're a, a Scorpio and you're missing those three those three months those are gonna link up with different food signatures that link up with different sounds so the um, healing modalities can come through all of these things, through all of your portals. It's not just hanging out with people. I mean, you, again, you can you can find these people that express these um, things that you're missing in your life, and you can also um, imbue yourself with these energies through all of your portals, meaning through your mouth, through your nose, through your eyes and your ears. This is color therapy. So if you're there's certain colors that people don't resonate well with. And maybe that's what you need more of in your life, or that's maybe something that you have too much of. And these also obviously link up with the, the chakras in your body and the color system, the way it's laid out there. So you can tell if you're too hot, if you need to cool down. You can find these things in foods. Now the bypassing agent for all of this, how this all can be bypassed, is to go stare into the sun. To go do sun gazing. Because the sun is giving you 100% of the reality matrix. Now, getting into it a little deeper, the reason people, after they start sun gazing, it's um, maybe you can't see so well for a second. And what you're doing is you're actually charging your inside of your body to spit out 100% of reality. So you're, you're actually breaking down the matrix of what you're seeing out in front of you, if that makes sense. You're, you're looking at a reality that isn't fully charged in your mind, nor is it charged outside of you. This has to do with why there are, um, why they put chemtrails in the air, and what the moon does, and, and the salts in our food. Remember the black and the white. It's always this game that's being played. If you don't understand, that is the black and the white. Look at your look at any table. You'll see uh, any whenever you go out to eat, you're gonna see the salt and the pepper, the black and the white. You could even call it the S&P 500, the salt and the pepper, the black and the white. It's everywhere. So it gives you these two um, d dual system, this dual system that actually doesn't exist because, once again, we're dealing with the, the whole full light spectrum, which is 
the seven basic colors and then black and white, which are colors, so we have the nine to complete the entire harmony, which is the, the black and the white are the, uh, the brightness and the contrast to everything. But the colors are all, as I'm getting back to this, um, these charts here, let me, let me go through them again and just show you what's happening here. Each one of these, here we go, each one of these, um, each one of these uh, months of the zodiac are energy systems within what is being spit out from that, from where the, the sun is in the sky and where all of the other planets are and where the moon is. And it's imbuing you into your egg, into your, into the womb. And that's going to come out as the different harmonics and sound. So there's certain sounds that are correct to people and certain sounds that people do not like. And it has to do with what you might be missing or have too much of in your body. This has to do with why people have a certain, um, I mean, you could even, we could even get into as far as like what, where allergies uh, somewhat come from and any kind of allergy that you might have. And, and I don't mean that in the specific form of uh, you're allergic to grass or whatever, but certainly that works. But you, you're allergic to color. You're allergic to a certain sound. It doesn't, it doesn't fit right. It doesn't vibe with you. And sometimes that's, as I was saying before, sometimes you, you have a, an organ that is overused or you have it, one that's underused or one that's not functioning properly. And so this is the use of uh, aromatherapy is one of the highest knowledges because you're using, it's going directly to your brain, the nose, nose, gnosis. So these oils have the smell which is not bypassed. And, and I've said this in many of my other videos, the, the highest sense that we have, we call it a sense because we smell the scent, the sense, and we have the nose which goes directly to the brain. There's no, there's no a filter. Everything else is, like even your eyes, everything's upside down and backwards, the way that it, and it crosses in the brain and your brain is crossed and the ears. It, there, there's so many things that are happening with the rest of your portals that the, the information isn't directly um, imbued into the body. But the, the eyes, through the sun, you're getting the entire spectrum, and then through the aroma, the smell, the scent, you're getting, you're getting a very high level of understanding and wisdom through the smell of something. Everybody knows that shit smells like shit, and everybody knows what smells good. So there's a lot of wisdom in, in uh, seeking something that smells nice. And there's also, uh, when you get into these different types of energetic healings, the sound is, we can look at what's not abusive. What, what, is, what can we do? We can smell a rose as we pass it without picking it. And, it. and it gives us information, and it gives us life force. Whenever I was on my fast and I could just smell things and cook things, that was energy that I was imbuing into myself. And now you can, you can bypass even that and go right to the sun. And you can bypass, and now you find musical instrument. You, found, you find harmonies and sound. There's no harm in that. There's no injury in the use of music. Unless, of course, I mean, we could get into the really low-level music and, and how, kind of bringing someone down to a, a lower vibration but again, it's not necessarily even harming. It's just bringing um, a it's bringing a, a frequency to an area. So it's like this is you, you see different people wearing different colors at different types of musical events, and it, it's putting them in a certain space in a spurt, in a certain time. So let's see. Well, let's go into some of these charts again, just so you can kind of get an understanding. Because see, this the sun here is actually spitting out all of the degrees all of the information as, as colors because now these, um, this sun is putting information into the food which reflects back its signature, meaning its sign of nature. So if you are a very hot person, you'd want to go find foods that would cool you down. Blues. And now what, what is the most essential thing we need to understand again? Because what I teach is to get to the sun and get to the water because the water is the the water is the surface. The, wa the water is the carrier of, of the information. So by having clean water in your body, you can actually access the information to a much higher degree. You can access subtle energies that other people cannot. And that's just about cleaning your body to receive and absorb and understand the subtle energies. Let's look at these other um, charts here. What do we got? Once again, I want to simplify these for you. 
There we go. Mm, which, which ones we got here? Okay. So, now if we look at this snake as a sine wave, because when we talk about the signs, they're called signs, right? And what is the sign? The sign is the sine wave to live in sin. So if you're whatever sign you are, that is the sin that you live in. And here the snake shows you that sin that's being uh, explored, which is the wave off of, here's the center line, and here's the sun. Let's, let me get here again. I had the sun here. Here's the sun that is imbuing the information down into, let's move this for you. There we go. So if we see it this way, there's the sun, and it's spitting information down into here. And your zodiac, where you were born, gave you these degrees, these nine degrees. And then you're missing these three over here, let's say which would link up with different months, with different sounds, with different smells, with different... There you go. This is what you're seeing. This is how it, this is how it links together between all of the, the five senses of this reality that we live in are all broken down into the harmonics, whether they're sound, smell, or what you hear, what you hear, what you taste, what you touch. It's all broken down the same way. So you can always find the things to fit into a picture. If you're painting a picture and you only use nine colors and you have a palette of 12, well, you'd, you'd add the other three. If you were making music and you wanted to be uh, fully explorative of the bandwidth. So to get to that source thing is, once again, to use the simplest form, which is the sun, by staring at the sun. Let's see here. Okay, by looking at the sun, and you are, you become the sun, you become the monad once you're full of the light. See, once again, because you came from the soul, the soul and the soil, you take of the earth and you take of the sun and it becomes imbued into you, see? There you are, right there, in the middle. But you're only a fraction of it until you absorb the information through any one of your portals. And you can be surrounded by these people, and you can take on their their energies there are certain people that it's more difficult to be around and there's certain people that's easy to be around and as i was discussing in the last video about this it's like it should i showed you how that kind of works um so what else here is here here you go again the sine wave that you're living in this this reality here okay Okay, so if you're living on this sine wave, and here's your energy system, and here's how you express yourself, you can find a, another color. You can find another color within the harmonic, whether it's food, and I'm, I know I'm just kind of being repetitive here, but I'm just showing you how these charts work, so whenever you look at these charts, it becomes a little bit easier just to simply identify the sign of the what this what it's saying, what the symbolism is saying. And this is all we saying, here you go, what are you missing? You're missing this here. You're missing this portion of of yourself. You're you're missing let's um let me go back here so I don't there we go. So you're missing part of the the expression of the full rays of the sunlight. And so you need to link this into what your what your system is. And you can do this. And I'm being redundant now. With foods, colors, sounds, smells, or just go directly to the source, which is the light. And by combining the light and the water, the water is the carrier for all the light, you get memory, memonori, meaning water and light. And what else we have next? At this point, I'm just kind of being super redundant, so... Uh, again, it's the same exact picture as what you've seen beneath. We see, again, the signs. We see the energy systems. And it's called an eagle 
or an ego or an egg, an eggshell which holds and contains you before you're birthed and then again during this lifetime you rebirth yourself. And that's an exploration of the entire, the entire sun symbol which is the monad. Coming back to this again, is you're, you're missing part of the monad. So we find those harmonics. What other ones do we have here? This is the same thing again. It's just it's shown that it's shown that black and uh, the black and white checkerboard um, idea of what is. See again, the black and white are used as an idea of arconic energy, meaning the what holds something in place. It's not completely true because the the arconic energy is even outside of that. It's unseen. But the black and white is just because there's no way to explain the unseen unless we, we have to show it to you. We have to show you the black and white. We're not saying, at least I'm not saying, <laughs> there might be other people out there that are expressing the black and white as such and saying that's the dual universe, but then they're not revealing the whole truth or they don't know it themselves, which I assume most people don't. So the black and white are just ideas that you can see in front of you as trying to give you the left and right polar, uh, the, the thing that holds the, the entire spectrum together. But in reality, this black and white is part of the spectrum. And that's what's on the floor. And that shows you what's being imbued into the, into the system through the sun and the moon. And as I go farther here, let's, let's kind of change gears because I, I've, I'm always expressing the salt and the moon and the matrix that's happening there and how it, it, it's... It's not exactly what you think it is, and I think there's there's um, a, a good deal of um, energy hijacking that occurs through the moon, and it has to do with the salts that we continually ingest. We always we always put the salt on the table. There's always salt in all of our foods, and it has to do with the inorganic salt, and the connection between the salt that's in the water in the oceans and the connection to the moon, and and even as I've gotten into before, um, the period of a woman. The, and is she really immortal and should she not be putting salt in her body because maybe what's happening is she's actually destroying the seed in her body and so that monthly cycle because it is linked up and tied to the moon not everybody's is linked up in the exact same way but it's run off that same 13 number that 13 cycles of the moon a year and so if we consider societal, societally how much salt Inorganic salt is thrown into everyone's body through the years. There's a huge buildup and connection to the moon. Maybe it's an inorganic construct that's built into the cycles of the moon that shouldn't be there. And if you remove the salts from your body, the dead inorganic ones, and this is, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've had to repeat this so many times, and I'm just starting, I'm pointing to the videos again. Watch the, watch the rest of the videos I've done on salt. That this, that it's not the living. You see, we have to. We maybe even need to change the word because it's not, it's not delivered correctly. The salt that's in the ground, the salt that's in the ocean, needs to stay there. And that cube is the thing that's taking the information from the sun and incubating the living system, which is the plant life. So then we find that color, which is the codex of the the, the signature of the angle of the sun and the rays and the information that was imbued into that seed through the salt. The, the cube was important. The salt and the cube and Saturn and the moon were important. But, but it was important as using a, uh, as the salt as a refractive surface to reflect and refract information into the plant life to make the living system what it was, but, and then you ingest that. Not the salt that's on the ground that needs to stay there. So remove that and then the... the the connection to the moon and the hijacking of energy set, uh, systems and your mind goes away. The moon is there as a as a, a focal point for energy matrix through uh, manipulators. And 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 as I always put it, it's this is not a good or bad thing. This is just in an incubation phase, as I've spoken about before. A child goes through an incubation phase before the age of five where you don't remember much of anything and it has to do with control mechanisms so because of the type of uh, trauma that is to get to this planet the amount of trauma that people go through 
the, the even the the birthing pro if you were aware of being born into this world the coming out of the womb the amount of trauma and pain and breaking of bones and snapping and it, it would be unbearable you would you would die before you got you even had a life so the idea of what the moon is the moon matrix the salt the saturn the cube all of this was all about incubation even incubation of the pineal gland because if your pineal gland was full on full bore as you came through the womb you wouldn't have known to handle it so then as your pineal gland starts to crack and open up and you start to see through the cracks, through the crevices, into what the sun actually is and see what the moon is, it's not, it's not an, it, was a, it was a system of just an eggshell or a cloaking, a clock. The clock is the sea lock. It locks you to the sea. It puts you inside and incubated inside of time. And then as you get outside of time, the expression of what these are it starts to make a lot more sense. Because then you're imbued as a monad yourself with all of the light and information. That the shell has been fractured and shattered and, and is removed. And you become what you are. And you can play all of the keys, all of the harmonics. And it becomes something more akin to this. Then you understand what the, the colors and the tastes and the textures all are. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, in... In review, um, because the question was asked about what to do about um, filling yourself, fulfilling yourself as a, a totality, it's to get around people. That's one way of doing it. That have uh, that that are of, of different signs that aren't actually linked up with yours. That hold the energies of of different systems to get around the colors to use color to imbue into your eyes through a portal. Uh, the colors that maybe confuse you, that don't, that don't, you don't jive with, that all of a sudden can start to resonate and clean up your organs, which are linked up to that. Start listening to music that is different. So you're using your eyes as a portal, your ears as a portal to clean those portals out because the colors are literally cleaning the portals of your eyes and the sounds are cleaning the portals of your ears. And you start putting things in your mouth that are actually, instead of being one color, could you imagine the colors of the foods that, that some people eat? If all they're eating is dead food and uh, whether it's cooked or not, I mean, that, I'm not going to go down that path, but um, meat has one color, really. So no wonder the blood and the brown and the red is the chakra that works for these people that mostly eat meat. Now, if you find people that are really heady, that have been, they just eat all of these uh, certain color you know, certain blue foods, but they stay away from the red foods and they're always heady, but they don't have any fire in their belly. Well, it's easy to change that. And it's just imbue yourself through all of your portals, through the different colors and the different sounds, the different smells. And again, the smell is important, is, is very important as well. And if you can, that's, that's actually one of the highest forms to bypass all of the other senses, the smell and then stare in the sun and drink clean water. That's, <laughs> there it is all again. There it is in a nutshell. Hope you guys enjoyed. Chat soon.